All right, live by live, man, powered by Slacker Radio. We are up in the building yet again, man. West Coast to Worldwide, holding you down, bringing you some more heat from the street, man. We got um, just some super dope flavor, super dope vibes all up in the room today. Uh, separately, uh, I got the homegirl named Ring uh, with my guy Dollar together. They hit you with the whoa factor. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> indeed, indeed, man. Appreciate y'all pulling up today. Thank you, for um, Thank you. Catching a vibe, man. Um, I am super excited about the music that is going to be coming out. No doubt. Um, and, and first and foremost, I have to say thank you for pulling up and shutting down the stage at this year's event out here, man. The DJ oh, artist meet and greet. Uh, we were talking about it. And now is that is that the reason why we're named Woe? That's it, man. Basically, yeah. That's it. Just for that whoa. You don't know what you're going to get. You don't know what you're going to get. You know what I mean? It's like when you see us, it's like, whoa, you know? And that's it, man. Shout out to Dennis Blaze, man. And shout out to you for having us, man. Indeed. Indeed. Uh, I'll tell you, man, track track these folks down, man. Uh, There was a lot of stuff in the works and just, just funky, just... Um, I, like I said, uh, uh, we were we were talking off mic. It's very genreless, mm. your guys' mm-hmm. sound. You know what I'm saying? But uh, but just, there's so much just old school spirit in it all right, too right. as well. I love the fact that you guys are willing to push the boundaries. Thank you uh, with Thank the, with you. the music and and just because I mean, let's be quite honest. There's so much stuff out there today that all mm-hmm. sounds the same. Yep. And I, I I one I was blown away by the live performance. Thank you. But digging into crates now a little bit more and what you guys got out there with the catalog and everything like that. Uh, your music knows no boundaries, man. Oh, man. No boundaries whatsoever. Yeah. Right? And that that's really important to us because we are, like I was saying, um, we're influenced by so many types of different music. And it shows. So, it, yeah. And, and know, sometimes it's hard to put us in a box, but that's okay. Yeah. No, don't be afraid. Like, don't be no, afraid. You guys, yeah. you guys don't need a box. <laughs> Thank you, You bro. don't need a box Thank whatsoever. You. Like I said, uh, you check out my guy Dollar right here. He, he come at you with some, like, Lenny Kravitz, Andre 3000 meet <laughs> Bootsy Collins type <laughs> funk vibes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then you bringing uh, the lovely Tina Marie right here oh, with the spirit. Such a compliment. Man. You know what I'm oh saying? my goodness. And, and, and I tell you, because uh, the reason why that first came to mind to me is because mm-hmm. singing live is a is a different monster yeah. and, and you did a great job. You know Thank what I'm saying? You. So 100% uh, props to you because there's a lot of people who can't do that. They sound good in a studio oh, yeah. and then you, you see them live and you're like, ah, okay, they they put some gloss on her on her vocals in right. the studio, you know what I'm saying? But you legitimately can sing, so I commend Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. you know, um, my just a, a quick little kind of background Let's have um, fun check fact. <laughs> fun fact fun fact um I well went to an art school basically my whole life but um after graduating I signed with Cash Money Records so okay. it was really in that situation I was able to find my voice and um, develop myself I trained with Miss B Betty Wright Damn. so that was huge and I Damn. actually got to be in the studio with Tina Marie you know she wow. was yeah she was signing wow. Cash Money Rest um peace, but yeah she came you. down to Miami and. She listened to a whole bunch of my records and talked to me. So it was like, whew, overwhelming. Yeah, that's chill. But that gives yeah, me chills Yeah, it's like right all now. of Ooh. those things, you know. Yeah. And, and many more things yeah. made me into that performer that I am. Nice. So it's nice. very, yeah, Indeed. very, yeah. very cold. Cool. Thank you. Yeah, I, uh, I, uh, I mean, I'll say because I actually got to see her live. And that's probably one of the Whoa. best live performances I've ever Ooh. seen. Like, just the mere fact that, like I said, everything you hear on, from a studio record. Right. Right there in front of yeah, your face, she, man. She, she's phenomenal. And you know, that's our thing. That we take it's our so performances, cool. you know, it's very seriously. We yeah. study a lot of that, you know, yeah. what you're talking about. Rick James, Tina Marie, yep. yeah, uh, yeah. Prince, Mike. We study those performances and we notice that that's missing a lot in today's Big you know, industry. And it's like that theatrical element, but also just that that willingness to just push the boundary and just do something mm-hmm. do something that feels good and not be afraid about it. And that's yeah. we take heart in that, man. And yeah. we, we and aim it, to do that every show. We mm-hmm. want to make it. We want to make it hard for the next person yeah, to come on, no, man. Hey, you know again, I mean? you like, want to make them be like, yeah, whoa. Yeah, that's it. Whoa. That's what it was what it come down to, man. Like I said, as we've sit here and talked, I've been like, uh, everything makes sense now. Yeah, yeah okay. You know All right, I mean? so you get it. You get it. <laughs> I get it. You know what I mean? Uh, All right. uh, say whoa is the tag, correct? Uh, as say whoa is the Instagram, Instagram. You know yeah, what I yeah, mean? Yeah, so yeah, we yeah. play off of the whole say whoa, but, you know, the actual name is whoa. And whoa is actually, actually an acronym. Oh. You okay. ready for this? Okay, here we go. More whoa factor for you. Exactly. All so. Right. Outside of the woe factor, you know, which is the, the visual piece, we have this intrinsic kind of, um, you know, uh, underlining piece. And this is why we connected how we did. All right. Okay. And this is how we connect with a lot of our mm-hmm. woe waivers out there. Those okay. are our followers. Woe is an acronym. It stands for when hearts open, open. and attract. Uh. When hearts open and attract. So I we put that, that love frequency in the music because it's all about that feel good vibe. 
You understand what I'm saying? Whatever you're going through, you know, whether it's ups or downs, whatever, you know, we, we're bringing that. So you, when you when you feel that music, you open your heart up. Yeah. We open ours up. We connect. And we're here right now with Ray, man. Hey. Anybody, Indio. any age. I mean, any we're just age. all yeah. about the good vibes, love and just people coming together. And we've yeah. noticed along our journey, you know, from I mean, from, you know, 12, 13, 9, 10 to 50, 55, you know, we get that range. Yeah. yeah. Because people just identify with certain pieces of the music or the performance, live performance. And it's it's a beautiful thing. It's a blessing, you know, to be able to kind of like, because our thing is community too. We like to be in front of those yeah. people. We like yeah. to share, share this, you know, share the vibe, share the energy. And we've been able to do that, man. You know what I'm saying? God has blessed us to do that. Man. Indeed. And man, I, and may I say, man, just that's super dope in this time that we're living in. Just, I mean, I always say, man, love will always conquer hate. You know, you know what, what I'm mean? saying? Come but, on, man. But it's just say it like again. things are so, things are so just, they just feel so tense in the world. You know what I mean? So this is very refreshing. Just the sound, the attitudes, the vibes, the energy. Win hearts over and. Open. Win hearts open. Open. And okay. attract. Yep. Win hearts open and attract. Okay. All right. Well, you won my heart over. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, <laughs> thank you, man. Thank you, man. No doubt. You know, love it, love it, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's what it's all about. That's what it's yeah. all about. That's what it's all about, man. 100%. 100%. You know what I'm saying? There's, there's enough bullshit in the world that, you know what I mean? Come on, man. Let's, let's be on a positive side over here. Exactly, you know what I mean? man. You and, know what I mean? and it's so important. You know, everybody's different. Yeah. Every right. single person is different, no matter, you know, every everybody. So... It's, you know, music is is always a thing that brings all different kinds of people together. So, you and know, that, that's very that important you know to us. I mean? And it's so, always been that way. Right. So we want to, you know, keep that, you know, where and anybody, I, any anybody right. can listen to. You know, real music yeah. that connects, you know, with the fiber or the heart or whatever mm -hmm. it is. It's, you know, it's, it's genreless. It's worldwide. Mm -hmm. it's, um, it's, 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 it's just as Nobody. worldwide as this. It's personal. It's yeah. one. It's me and you one on one. Yeah. So, you know, and that's great music. You know what I mean? And, and that's music with soul in it. Yeah. So our thing is not, you know, we're not, um, you know, just 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 out here saying something just to say it. You know what I mean? Or just, you know, just to flex or, or brag or whatever that case is. That's not our intent. Our intent is to just put on something that feels good, man. You know, just like how. You know that, that a lot of the old school music make, used to make you feel. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. But we're we're now. You know, our generation is now. We're bringing that now. You know what I mean. That's the key. You know hell yeah, mean? hell yeah. And maybe a missing factor today. You know what I'm saying? Who knows? You yeah. know what I mean? But uh, like I said, I, I dig the vibes. I dig the energy. Thank I you. dig the sound. I mean, like I said, when you guys hit the stage and perform instantly, it's just like like you know attention grabbing. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Thank you. No man. doubt. So um, again, say say whoa, say whoa, track them down. Uh, the group name whoa. When hearts open and attract, attract. Yeah. There it is. That is the vibes. Uh, put that in your mental for Let's 2020 go, and and beyond. Whoa. Um, you know what I'm saying? Um, music wise though, man. Like I said, what what instantly gets me because I'm a music junkie. Yes, come you on. know what I'm saying? Like I've I've heard the crazy samples Let's and talk. all these songs. Mm -hmm. I mean, you got stuff with Egyptian Lover. Um. And we talking three times crazy and some samples. Uh, we talking uh, Paul Hardcastle. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Shout out uh, to Paul Hardcastle um, for clearing that. Uh, who, who, I mean, it goes on and on and on. You know what I mean? Even and then you and then you flip a script and go uh, Pink Starburst. That's right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's like right. this thing, this it's just everywhere. That's right. You know what I mean? But but it works for y'all. And now getting to know y'all personally, like it's like okay, yeah. Fuck a box. Right. <laughs> you know? It comes together, right? Yeah, no, 100%. 100%. It's that visual piece, right? Yeah, yeah, and that's yeah. the thing. It's like our mission is to just get out in front of, of, of all the crowds, you know, people, because once you see us, it all comes together. You know what I mean? Because yeah. the music piece is something like like uh, Ring said, we pull from all our inspirations. You know what I'm saying? On the way up here, I was we bumped Tom Petty. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like, you know, you might pull from some Rick James, some Prince, Tom Petty. You might pull from some... Some pox, you know, you might pull for some some young thug, you know what I'm saying? Whatever's whatever's happening, but yeah. we pull we pull it all in a in a pot, in a gumbo, stir it up, but we make sure that it's uniquely our own. You know what I mean? Yeah. And but but it has to have that that component that we feel like is missing today. We want to bring you what you've been missing. So that component is that feel, it's that frequency, it's that soul. You know what I mean? And a lot of that's missing from today's music, man. A Indeed. Lot of that soul. Indeed. And I okay. think that that is what it's going to make it uh, have its longevity. Thank you. Bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. For the idea, because aside from just hearing, you're going to feel that shit in your soul, which, yeah. which I do. That was the reason we got off on some of these samples. Like, for instance, the, uh, Tell Me, uh, which is the Three Times Crazy Joint, which yeah. is originally yeah. 52nd Street. Tell Me How It Feels. Rest in Heaven, uh, Diane Charlemagne, who's the lead singer. We fell in love with her voice because, see, we study music. You know what I mean? Yeah. This is our industry. This is our career. So we don't just just get in the studio just to, you know, play around. You know what I mean? Yeah. We get in there 
and we are we bring influence we bring things that inspire us and we're not afraid to go back you know what i mean even mm-hmm. though i mean we're right now but we're not afraid to study what became a force because i was always taught man you don't know where you're going until you know where you've been you know where you've you know been what I mean? so uh-huh. I, I was i was schooled by the ogs you know what i'm saying and we were schooled by by them that you know mm-hmm. like shout out to my mentor james alexander and a lot of people don't know who that is, but he's actually Jazzy Faye's dad. Uh, a lot of people don't know who Jazzy Faye is. He's, I, a, he's a multi yeah, platinum yeah, yeah, yeah. producer. You he's know what I mean? Under a rock, I guess. You, you know, know what I mean? Right. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? But James Alexander was is the uh, the lead bass player of the Barcades, the original member. Uh, you know? Hit and run. Come on, man. Shh. And you know, Strut you know, all the, the band <laughs> that passed away in that crash with Otis Redding. You know what oh, I mean? Man. And but he survived, and the trumpet player survived. So okay. you know, so so it's just knowing things like that, and we're able because we because we're not because it's not we. It's in us. It's not on us. You get yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Hell, so yeah. because it's not like that, you know what I'm saying? We're not afraid to study and put that in. And because of that, God's blessed us to put that in the music. So when you feel the vibes, whether it's Pink Starburst, tell me, we're bringing that real essence to that music. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's our mission. You know, so like what tell me, I mean, I've always loved whether it was Three Times Crazy Record or, or 52nd Street. I mean, we fell in love with it. Mm-hmm. And we were like, oh, man, we got to. Because when we do, we do like interpolations of cover rec- songs, some of those records. So our thing is, okay, if that record was great in the 80s, right, or in the 90s when Three Times Crazy dropped it, yeah. it needs to be great now. So why not do why it now not? Why so not? this generation now can can get that feel that we felt when we when we heard it for the first time. Indeed. So it just carries on. The legacy lives on. Yeah, so yeah. When, we, when we go and do those samples, that's because we're paying homage, uh, yeah. paying homage to those artists. And so we want, we're going to keep that going. That's a part of the world wave. You know what I mean? I could dig it. I could dig it 100%. I mean, and you, like I said, uh, I've been on the three times crazy trip. You take it even further with the 52nd Street. 52nd you know what I'm Street, saying? Right. So, but again, that's what I think is, is, is a testament to it all. Just, uh, that's timeless. That's, that's the goal. You know what right. I mean? Something that will live forever. Right. You know what I mean? And, um, I, I just, as we sit here and talk and everything like that, I just, um, I can appreciate the authenticity in all of this. Um, and I think that's what I think I, I would hope people could convey out of this whole conversation mm-hmm. is because there's so much washed today in the idea of, OK, this works for now, blah, 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 blah. Let's do this. Da, da, da. But you guys are doing what's truly genuine in your heart, what's truly genuine in your mm-hmm. creativity, what's truly uh, authentic and genuine in your whole passion for why you're doing this. You know what I'm saying? This this it's this is plan A. There is no plan B. Nice. Yes. You know what I'm saying? And we going to yeah. make this rock the whole way. You know what yes. I'm saying? Yes. I I could dig it. I, I just got the chill. Spit that whole thing out, oh, man. Yeah. Yeah, you said it. Yeah. <laughs> said it man. I'm yeah, glad yeah. I was recording. Yeah, you yeah. said it, man. No, but, oh, but, man, that's but, cold. but that's real spill, though. You yeah, know what I mean? Because spill. because um, mm-hmm. I think I think that's what sets true artists apart from others is is that authenticity, is that genuineness. Um, even when you two walk in the room, right. people are gonna have prejudgments when they see you. What are these oh, two yeah. gonna do right now? Blase, blase. Turn that music on. Turn that mic on. Holy shit, ring can blow. Right. You know, holy shit, dollar can spit. Right. You know what I mean? And then you just funky with the red boots. Come on, you know man. What I'm come on, you <laughs> come on, man. <laughs> come on, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I was a, one of my OGs told me. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Larry Dotson, lead singer of the Bar Case. He said, "Hey, when you think you've uh, gone too far, you're only halfway there. You get what I'm saying? Hell yeah. So you put the red boots on, man. You do what you do, man. You know, you know what I'm talking saying? about? Lay, lay the hair out, man. Press uh-huh. it out. You know what I'm saying? And I see, <laughs> I see the purpose fresh. I see, I see the press fresh. Yeah, you man. Know what I'm <laughs> Hey, the early bird gets the fresh pimp perm. You understand know what, what I'm saying? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. Uh, my guy from the ATL. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It, it come out. Doing. It come out. You know, Southern play enlisted Cadillac. Music, doing. You know, shout to Outkast, all that. You all know what that. I mean? And, and, and it's a funk base. You know what I mean? Yeah, the, yeah. The funk is in there. You know what I mean? So oh, yeah. it's, it's yeah. real with this, man. Um, we're not we're not um, just putting on. You know what I mean? This Hell is yeah. real. And um, it takes one to know one. You know, so when you get into the world wave, you feel it, feel it in your soul, feel it in your spirit. That's because, you know, it was meant to be. Hell yeah. So uh, just roll with us, baby. Ride the woe wave, man. Ride the woe wave, man. Ride the woe wave. Again, ring and dollar separately. Together, they are woe. Uh, Ride the woe wave. Please uh, tag uh, where we keeping up with everything again. IG, sites, the whole nine, whatever, whatever. Tag uh, at say woe. On Instagram. That's W-H-O-A-A on Instagram. And you can just... Google whoa, everything will come up. You know, yep, YouTube. W H O A A. That's right. I know we got mm-hmm. some visuals floating around too, which again, yep. uh, uh, e- even if you're sober, you're going to go on a trip. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, so We've heard that. some Somebody interesting like, things at our shows. They're like, oh, I can take this that you're like listening to your music. We're like, oh, we didn't like, think okay. of that, but yeah, all right, gonna, okay. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, works. Take, I'm going to go on this trip with your yeah. music. Or this is like an acid trip. Whatever whatever it is for yeah, you, yeah. it's a visually so it's cool, stimulating yeah. thing. And we we aim to please, man. Indeed. You know? oh, yeah. Indeed. So there, it, there's so many facets to y'all. 
um, all in one, man. And and like I said, fuck a box. That's right. Fuck a box. That's you know right. what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. I know what I was gonna say because you're such a good <laughs> interviewer, man. I was right. like, some, some escaped me, but you know when you're when you're trailblazing or where you where you dare to uh, walk down the the, um, the road less traveled, yeah. As we do, and as as many greats have done before us, and, and many artists do right now, whether you're great or whatever you are. You just just walking that path that might feel lonely at first. You know, it feels yeah. like you know your music isn't making crossing into fans or, or the mainstream or whatever. You know, when you do that, you got to understand that you know that journey isn't going to be easy, right? No, nope. you got to understand it's going to be discouraging because you're doing Very. something different. You're not the temptation to Oof. just jump right in there and just 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 do yeah. a record that sounds like everything that's happening. Which no knock on that. That temptation is there because you want to you want to pop. You wanted to go. Yeah, you know, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. But when you stick true to your what you're what you really uh are doing and you stick true to your heart, your craft, and you have a vision, it yeah. may take a little a longer. You know what I mean? Gotta it may take a little vision. longer, but boy, it's gonna be worth it in the end. And you just gotta stick to it. You know what I mean? You're gonna you're gonna face many hardships as we all do mm -hmm. and as we do. So but stick true, stay true to your craft and keep stay stay invigorated and creative with, with um inspiration. You know what I mean? So you can keep going and keep making something new and, and you you always have to be open for constructive criticism, but you always have to take and see what's happening now and be able to add it into, you know, add elements into what you're doing because you want to be, you want, you want to compete. You know, we yeah. all want to, we all want to have mainstream success, you know, to, to that degree, you know what I'm saying? To whatever that is to you, right? Whatever that is to you, whether it's underground, whether it's trap, whether it's pop, whether it's R and B, you know what I mean? You want to, you want to be successful. So you just got to always pay attention to what's going on around you and follow your heart, follow your craft, and you will have success in whatever lane you choose. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. To whatever you define success as, it will come for you. There it is. There it is. Ring, you want to add anything to that? Uh, I mean, I you that, said it. Yeah. Yeah. It up right we, yeah. We have a lot of talk. Yeah. Man, you know, oh, yeah. 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 we get discouraged, you know what I'm saying? And we're but always so, like talking each there, other up, talking, yeah. you know, we're like, -da 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 -da. Yeah, like, we're like, man, we, you can do it. 20, you can do yeah. it. So any artist out there, man, that's daring to be different or whatever you're doing, man, just mm -hmm. don't, don't stop. Stay creative and stay consistent. And there's yeah. always the somebody listening and there's always somebody watching. Yeah. Hell yeah. You know what I mean? There's always somebody and they're inspired by you. Yeah. Because yeah. there's been first. times when it's like, I'm like, you know what? Da -da -da, and someone hits us up and they're like, you know, they say something and it's like, you know what? Like, thank you for, for doing thank, this. Yeah. And it's yeah. like, we thank you this. because I needed to hear that At as that an time. artist. Right. Like, you know, so it, it means a lot. Hell yeah. yeah. That's a Hell blessing. yeah. I always say, stay original, stay inspired. Come you know on, baby. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Pers That's it. Persistency will get you there. Consistency will keep you there. Oh, you, you know said. what I'm saying? So uh, say whoa, say yes. whoa. Whoa, uh, the whoa factor. Uh, <laughs> I'm on the whoa wave. Whoa wave, yes. baby. Whoa wave. Whoa. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So any, anything that I can do to continue to wave, count me in. Oh, you know what I'm saying? 150,000. Well, you doing it all, man. And we yes. appreciate you, brother. No doubt. So real. No doubt. Stay yeah. up with him again. The social say whoa. Uh, the site, go track down the videos. Uh, stream the music away. Uh, pay attention for a lot of dope shit coming your way for 2020 as well. Uh, whoa, thank you guys so much, man. I appreciate you. Man, likewise, thank brother. You. God bless. Yeah, yeah. Thank you yet again for catching yourself a stream right here with the Chop Shop with myself, Raymond T, and our very special guest. You never know who's going to stop through the Slacker Radio studio, man. So put this one right there in your presets and check out for future episodes. And if you are looking for some exclusive video footage of our interviews, head on over to the site, livexlive.com. <laughs>